you know. I'm just claiming. I just know that that documentary went and it was seen by them. I'm stuck here on the map, this is very appropriate. Oh no, I'm ghosting. Yeah, this is even better. This is even better than beginning a match. Just running around. This empty map that I was first introduced to. Back in 2000, actually 1999. Yeah, I put so much heart into that documentary. I blocked it. They said it was because of flickering screens, but I know why. It was because of me, man. Are you kidding? Take a look at the documentary. The guy is fucking crazy, man. He looks crazy. He talks crazy. He's twitchy and all this stuff. Yeah. And Charles Bukowski had this amazing quote where he said it was something along the lines of you know when you when you don't know and you try and it doesn't work out you can just shrug your shoulders and say you know it was the gods were against me or whatever right when you know, when you know you didn't succeed, it's like you're wandering through the empty chambers of your mind. And, uh, yeah, I poured my heart into that documentary. And I was the wizard, and the king looked at it, and he, he took my magic. God damn, those shadows are nice. Yeah. Fuck, I gotta admit, the there's a logic to the king, you know. <laughs> Look at these fucking props. Yeah. It's really the, the difference between b doubt and belief. I argue with atheists about this on the internet, on Quora. I say they're trying to annihilate belief because they won't believe in anything without evidence. I say, well, that's, that's the nature of belief, is there is no evidence. If there is evidence, then it's no longer belief. It's knowledge or opinion. Anyway, the doubter doesn't know fuck all about what's going to be the next big thing, so he throws the spaghetti at the wall. The wizard knows! But really... When you're the king, how can you tell who's a wizard and who's a madman? So yeah, I grant that. I have to. Fuck. I'm tired of the war. <laughs> Valve has... I know they watch me... They kind of idea farmed me a bit. I know this. I talked with somebody on LinkedIn. He mentioned that you knew that I had, you know they watched you should take uh, the logo for my game camp alien swarm game campaign reduction prepare to drop dot com the cover art for that <laughs> compared to what they did with the steam machine it's like I get the sense actually look at the steam machine logo that um, it's valve looking back at me It's like um, the Steam Machine logo is from the perspective of the star. My logo is from the perspective of the planet looking at the distant sun. Actually, it's, it's, you're not even a planet. It's, it's in orbit above the planet. The planet is a wasteland. 
Yeah, okay, let's do some apocalypse shit here, eh? Yeah, right, fuck. I'm going on here through the chambers of my mind here. No, I don't think I will. I'm kind of burnt out around apocalypse. Can you see the whole map anymore? No, you can't. The way we could. Oh, look, I've lost my way. Oops. I don't know where I am. Oh, wait a sec. Oh, it's the skybox. Yeah. No, they won't let you go to the skybox. Yeah. Out here in the nether reaches. <laughs> I'm somewhere outside the map. I don't know how to get back in. Uh, anyway, this is a good time as any to call it a night. Yep. Wait, <laughs> if I switch, oh, of course, I'm being stupid. What was I thinking? Oh, I, was I think I was going to not be able to play Counter-Strike. Are you kidding? Fuck. If I can remember it, I get 